Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Do leather grips cause more vibration? Are cushion grips better for you in terms of that? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so question from Artem. Um, cheers from cold and indoor playing Russia. Been enjoying your vids for quite a while and always wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Thank you and keep up the great work you do with the coaches. Okay. Maybe my questions will be a source of inspiration for some of your videos. Well, yes, it is. Um, could you tell if a softer base grip can reduce some vibration from the racket? I've recently been playing with a relatively soft racket, 65 RA, with a leather grip and started feeling some minor elbow issues or having some minor elbow issues. But when I reverted back to the head Hydrazor Pro, my issues vanished. Is it self-persuasion or there is some piece of truth in my suspicions? Huh, Artem, that's actually a great question. So leather is obviously a firmer material. It is a harder denser material. Um, there's also no cushioning properties in it. Uh, therefore, when the racket strikes, when the rack, when the ball strikes the string bed, especially, I mean, you're in Russia, especially in colder weather. Um, I know you're playing indoors, but I'm sure the rackets are still uh, on the colder side. The strings are on the stiffer side right now. And depending upon how tight you string it, uh, you will feel more vibration in the handle, therefore possibly causing some arm discomfort, wrist pain, elbow pain, possibly even shoulder pain, depending upon your stroke. So, um, I mean, if you look at the thickness of this thing, it's thinner. And let's grab a Hydrazor Pro that's thicker. All right, these definitely, these synthetic grips definitely have uh, more dampening, softer properties. So, yes, I mean, even if you took... Is if you want it comfort, obviously that Hydrosorb Comfort is even a little thicker, has these little round, you know, bubbles in it, as I call them, for, you know, more cushioning. So if you imagine, I mean, back in the olden days when there wasn't a cushion grip, right, we felt everything on those wooden rackets. Yeah, and the fairway grips, right? So make sure you hit the strings in the sweet spot. Maybe don't string it so tight, but definitely there is a big difference between leather and a cushion grip. Now, people call it vibration. I call it feel though. So, and I'm sure those of you who use leather understand what I'm talking about. Um, when you use a leather grip, there's definitely more feel when the ball pockets into the strings and then the ball releases. That's called feel. Some people call that vibration. It just depends on who you are. Uh, if you miss hit it, obviously that's vibration and it's gonna hurt. Okay, that's why we use those dampeners that help a little bit. Okay, so concentrate on hitting that sweet spot and making sure you contact the ball cleanly. Now, 
for those of you who kind of are on the fence and want the feel but don't want the vibration but love that leather well don't forget guys vt at vantech makes this one anti-vibe leather it's best of both worlds you got vibration dampening with a leather grip so for those of you who don't know you know check this out it's out there on the marketplace guys it's in europe it's in hong kong it's in america okay so there's a fine line between vibration and feel okay thank you artem for sending me this question um stay warm out there take care all right thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis.